So interesting, I had the personal experience and then two years later at a job when I was having another challenge, I remembered, ah, Mary Tap. <laughs> and so I came in and had a different session. Um, and this, you know, same principles, different challenge, um, but still sort of equipping you with the toolkit to, if, again, unpack the problem, understand the, where it's stemming from, and, and go to the root cause, if you like, and start to understand how you are, you're more powerful than whatever you think those obstacles are. You are, you really are in control of whatever situation you find yourself. How to sit in a meeting and pick up um, the right signals, those unspoken signals. I, I, I can't remember the number, but something like 10% of communication is actual verbal. So learning those sorts of things and, and then also going a step further. So in future, when I see this sort of a situation present itself or a variation of this situation, how do I um, approach it? How do I understand it? How do I take the learning from my coaching set sessions into it? And it's something that has helped already, how to empower my team, how to make sure that you know when you are talking to someone in your team, um, the, 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 there's a saying that the, the team and Arita, the mean, meaning of your, uh, of your communication is the understanding from the other person. It's not what you say, it's what the other person understands. So how do you make sure that what you are intending to say and what the person's hearing are aligned, right? So, and this is something I'm sure, you know, anyone can just, that skill is something that will help in every facet, be it personal life or work experience. So I've had two separate instances uh, instances sort of personal and and professional and in both situations I've walked away with you know uh, two two boxes that I can now use um, uh, you know in, in, in future